when does it start getting to like the 1490s? Oh, I see. Uh, let's see. I have six here. I have another six here. Because at one time I thought I could play 12 characters and that's not happening. And then I have an additional four plus the Express. So that's five for 1600. And so hmm, I almost have, I have 17 characters that are 1600 and above. And then, <laughs> and then the rest are like 1490s classes I don't want to play. Maybe I'll play one day. Who knows? Everybody, this is Mr. Zev. He is he was the uh, one of the guys on our podcast. If you guys did not listen to that, you guys might not be aware. But if you guys did, thank you so much. Uh, if you didn't, this is my friend Zev. I actually he's a good buddy of mine in real life, actually. Um, and he just happens to be probably the biggest whale in lost ark that i know um he currently has a 1640 gun lancer and as you can see he's showing off his gold and you know silvers and everything that he has in his account right now um uh do you actually have any like uh can you highlight over gold see if they have any like anything in waiting like uh you know, you know oh like yeah i do have something waiting but else because i wanted to use Oh, yeah. And so as you guys can see, right, <laughs> this man is not a G2 Gear. Look at that. Look at how much gold he has in waiting. Again, this is not a G2 Gear, guys. This man buys his gold legit from AGS, from the source. He plays, uh, uh, I'm not going to say he's stupid, but he pays the stupid tax. He is a very smart man, but he pays that tax. And, you know, I think, honestly... It is a, if you have the money, I would recommend doing it this way just so you don't run into any situations if you do want to participate in like the first race or anything like that, things like that. But this is the man himself. He is a legit player. It might seem like he is a G2 gear, but he's actually not. Um, but yes, he is um, a gun lancer that I've known, I know in real life. We actually met back in the Maple Story two days and we actually, you know, found out we live very close to each other so we became good friends and we hang out pretty often but um yes you have a 1640 gun lancer as your main right oh that is correct and um what does your entire roster look like right now your your main can you show us your uh, roster yeah sure so uh, can you bring me uh run me through what you have yeah so my main 1640 uh there because of gvg uh but then my alts they're all properly eye leveled next is war dancer then death blade and then arrow then glaive and then paladin these are like my gold earners and they're all 1620 with 40 set and then <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't end there like uh if you want to go deeper down the level yeah like, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah i have means that i have played in the past or all gold earners i played in the past that I've since dropped. So I have a 1620 Artillerist over here that's 35 set, and it's still like geared. It has like a, a level 10 barrage, and everything else is 9. The Zerker 1620 with 35 set as well, I think, and it has uh, uh, all 9s. And then finally, I get it by Destroyer. This is like where I kind of dropped it after a con. It's 1615, so I still get the 1610 raid, but like I get gate kept out of Frog, so I just do Sonovel. But it's still pretty strong there. Uh, it has level seven gems, so I want to bring <laughs> it back up to, to level nine eventually. That's like a future project. So you downgraded it? You downgraded the gems on there? Yeah, I downgraded the gems on my destroyer. Starting from my destroyer on, um, but these two they're still gemmed. Um, you know, they're kind of like all like level nine gems. Yeah. So my uh, art, uh, artillerist and zerker, they're level nine gemmed, and. Uh, I still play them. I mean, if people need to, like, run Hard Voltus or something, a body or whatever, like, you know, I, I can bring them, and it's that's what they're there for. I also do my, my dailies on them. Like, if you want to take a look at my dailies, look at how, like, like, everything's rested, but, like, look at how, like, much, like, I'll do Guardian Rays all these characters. So, yeah. Um, how many hours a day do you play, typically? Hours a day. Hmm. I let's see. On average day, I get on the game around like eleven, and then I get off the game around two. So two a.m. Two a.m. So yeah. So eleven a.m. is when you start, and then two a.m. is when you get off. 
That's correct. So like I have like a nine hour gap. So uh, I average seven, uh, no, not 17, 15 hours a day on the game. Sheesh, but you full work full time, right? Uh, yeah, I work full time. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I work from home, but like I have I have some downtime, huh, some downtime in the game. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I do. And then, <laughs> go further God. down. Yeah. Yeah. So and you have like, you know, you start as you go down further. Like how many? Actually, go, go, let's let's start from the top real quick and then scroll down. Okay. When does it start getting to like the 1490s? Oh, I see. Uh, let's see, I have six here. I have another six here. Because I at one time I thought I could play twelve characters and that's not happening, and then I have an additional four plus the express, so that's five for sixteen hundred. And so, hmm, I almost have I have seventeen characters that are sixteen hundred and above, and then <laughs> and then the rest are like fourteen nineties classes I don't want to play. Maybe I'll play one day. Who knows? Do Let's they see. have gems on them? Yeah, they have gems. Like they have level five gems, but they're oh, not like got seven. It. Okay, sevens end okay. up the 1600s okay okay so i guess um f for you why how do i say this like why do you um i guess first off do you how, why do you enjoy playing lost ark and to the point that you know you're playing so many different characters right and uh -huh. like um yeah, I guess we'll start with that. How? Why, why do you enjoy? What What makes you enjoy Lost Ark so much that you play so many different characters and are willing to spend so much money on it? It's a good game. I mean, it's very addicting. Like, you know, sometimes I overplay it and I feel like I don't want to like log on to the game, but that doesn't really stop me. Like, you know, sure we like when we you know go on trips or something and I can't log into the game. That's like my downtime for the game. But uh, yeah, like I mentioned on the podcast, like during those two days when the game was down, I just could not stop thinking about getting on Lost Ark. Even though I had other games to play, I played all these other games. It was boring. Like there's just something addicting about like improving your character and like, you know, having a better pool, playing with other people who like, you know, want to play the game as well. And yeah, I don't know. It's just such a unique experience. Mm -hmm. I, I can't help but play, like spend 15 hours a day on average on it. And then, you know, Likewise, I spend money because I enjoy it. Yeah, for sure. And do you do all your horizontal? Like, are you, are you, are you a horizontal enjoyer or oh, how's yeah. your horizontal let's, looking? Let's, let's take a look at my horizontal. So I was very dedicated to horizontal content for a long time since the start of the game. And uh, as we as I got enough of the island souls and other stuff, like I kind of scaled down on the horizontal. So some of the later content I don't have maxed out. And maybe I'll get to it one day if there's a need to. But let's take a look. Um, it's your collectibles. It? Right there. The uh, and under, uh, yep, yep, it's above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. yeah, right, yeah. Right. All right, so <laughs> I have 96 out of 98 souls. Like, uh, let's see here. Uh, Proterra just came out, and I haven't bothered with that. I'm never getting this Isle of Yearning soul. I've never even gotten the bag. Like, that's how crazy that that, that island soul is. And then, uh, let's see, Giant Hearts have them all. Uh, Omnium stars have them all. I mean, I did every, world boss like every day for like mm -hmm. years. Uh, <laughs> the two years, two years, the two years we've been playing. Oh, uh, what am I missing? Pletcha? Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I kind of like stopped doing this, this crap, but when we got to Elgatia, but you I'm missing plan the Pletcha. To? Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's like a reward for it. Like, let's see. Look at what I have. <laughs> this? I don't really care about this. I got this already. So maybe one day I will go back. I don't know. I feel like some of the horizontal is just crazy. Mm -hmm. Like you spend so much time on the on the RNG aspect. Like one of the cooking ones was crazy. You had to like RNG that, and I spent like a lot of silver. I mean, I recovered that silver now, but um, mm -hmm. a cocos. Uh, yeah, this newer area I don't have as much of. But yeah, I mean, I had like everything up to Voldus and. Uh, this crap. Uh, wait, what are the rewards? Let's see here. Yeah, I don't really care about this. Music box? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really care about that. If it was like stuff I like, you know, runes, I would I would go for it. I have 15 out of 17. Oh, this thing. Uh, the cat's ugly, apparently, so, you know. Okay. I mean, this is kind of... Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice, but that's kind of... Let's see what I have to get for that. Maybe I'll work on that. Okay. Oh my god, I hate it. Hating the tokens too. I hate everything. It's, it's whatever. 
this I really don't care about. I just like uh -huh. burn my stuff. I don't actually go for this, but I guess I have a, quite a bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just kind of get it while doing like, you know, life skilling, yeah. right? Yeah. Life skilling is something I do do, but it's not like. It's kind of, it's kind of afterthought, honestly. It's like when you're just like having downtime and you don't think about it. This stuff. I think this, these are easier to get now, but yeah, I just don't care about mm -hmm. what, what I'm missing. But yeah, clearly you like playing the game a lot. You play the game a lot. You've done a lot of horizontal. You play like the game many hours a day. You know, it's 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 something. It's a game that you really enjoy, and as a result, you decide that I think it's worth it to spend money on this game. But uh, the other question is like, have you always been like you know a person that pays a lot for your games in the past? You don't have to give me like a number, but like you know, are you mm -hmm. like typically in the games that you've played in the past? Have you always been a person that spent a ton for it, or like is it a special thing with Lost Ark? Yeah, um, I'm not very good at like playing like service games in the sense of like controlling myself. So if it's like, you know, I'm really addicted to it or something, like, I will spend the money, I mean, from other, other games we played. Uh, but this one has probably been, like, one of the most I've spent. Even of. more than E7? Hmm. I don't know. I get, uh, like, I think so, honestly. More wow. than E7. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to say they're tied, because I don't actually know, and I don't want to know. I mean, you know, Smilegate's out here, uh, you know, thanking you a lot. I bet. <laughs> oh, no. I wish they listened to like my critique of the game and all my ideas on the game. If they, they really want to thank me, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what about Soccer Spirits? So, no, I know you used to play Soccer Spirits. So oh, that I'm was like one of my first gotchas. Yeah. Um, it was a red. I don't think I spent that much on. It. I think I spent under. I definitely spent under 10k on that game. It wasn't that crazy. Oh, not that much. Not that it was yeah, that was much. not that much. That was definitely under 10k for sure. I, I don't know if you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I was like, I can't say the same for this or like E7, but yeah, mm -hmm. we're gone. I was gonna say, I don't know if you're comfortable with letting us know how much you've spent on this game, but you know, do you have like a like again? You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but like mm -hmm. you know, if you want to, can you give us like a ballpark range? Uh, yeah, um, so $20, like, recently in, in, uh, California, fast food workers got, like, uh, an increase to $20 mm -hmm. yep. an hour for the minimum wage, and, uh, yeah, it's more than minimum wage. <laughs> it's, more, <laughs> for, more, it's, it's more than, like, what a minimum wage, like, a year of minimum wage is what you're saying? Yeah, 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 over the course of the two years. It's more than... Oh, uh, over the course of two years, you have spent more than a year of minimum wage or two years of minimum wage? One year of minimum wage. One year of minimum wage. Not, in the not course two, of years. two years. Got it, got it, got yeah, it. Yeah, so there's a ballpark for people. Mm, okay, okay. So quite a bit, which, you know, again, everybody enjoys the game how they want to enjoy. And like, you know, if you can afford it, like all more power to you. Right. Um, but I guess, you know, with that, let's take a look at your your character. Right. Um, OK. Like, is, are your are, are your characters like is your main kitted out with like, you know, full tens? Uh, no, um, I'm ha I have a level nine on fire. Like, so I do the fire bullet build. Mm -hmm. Um, ideally, I want to move this over to counter gun lance and make a make these make this a ten, and then this is gun lance shot, which is like, I guess a filler. Like it's not as filler as fire bullet, but kind of filler. But um, I kind of evenly split my gems across my character, like my gold earners, so I could showcase that, which is why I don't have like tens here. If I want to get it, I can get it right now. Uh, but honestly, like I just well, I already opened my boxes, but. I kind of slow play this like I would I would do all my cubes on all my characters and then I would just like combine them. I also do all my chaos on all my characters. So I'm generating a level nine every week. Damn. And then, yeah. And then I get a rebate like when I fuse up to a 10, I get a nine back from uh, from something else. Uh, um, yeah, but yeah. You can go um, through my characters. Do you, wait, wait, hold up. Before we move on, before we move on, what's what is your weapon at right now? Oh, on this. Um, so I decided to do even because in so my primary focus, like uh, if I want to do daymine, I could just hone up to sixteen thirty and do that. That's pretty easy. But um, my weapon is twenty three. Uh, I hone everything up evenly, um, so that I can like my role in like GVG is just kind of staying alive and doing objective. Mm -hmm. And so everyone has their twenty five weapon. They're capped on damage. I know I'm I'm in the fray tanking like six people at once, and 
yeah when they get to like eight or more with 25 weapons like, i kind of crumble but like the the goal for me is to actually just live it's not like you know i don't care about doing damage honestly gunlaster is not the best class for for parsing and trying to get like mvp on mm -hmm. if we're being honest so you know i'm usually a utility in raids kind of thing but i really do like a uh, princess maker by the way a side mm -hmm. note i have a princess maker <clears throat> build which is also kind of cracked which i can showcase but yeah um so that's why i hold my armor up because people are kind of capped now on gvg for damage so mm -hmm. our goal is to get this all like evenly up and if i want to push right now i can but pushing with bounds is a lot cheaper and you have a specific 531 for your gvg too right oh yeah i can showcase that too that's kind of sweet. does everybody see. who's like higher upper level gvg do that uh build a gvg specific build yeah or... for like 531 and stuff like that yeah because i don't think a lot hard. of people a lot of people do gvg that in, at least in my chat and people watching the stream and stuff oh yeah it's a very niche kind of thing it's kind of like hell in a way well hell is like you know the most extreme version of pve you know people are doing that well people are doing that even though they have like uh weeklies and stuff to run but they want the the glory and the fun with it that comes with it um gvg is kind of like a uh I guess a side thing, but it's also very fun if you if you put time and effort into it. And mm -hmm. it's like basically a legion raid. It's like a a, a legion raid of uh of gold every week for like mm -hmm. you know forty five minutes. You know, let's see here. So I'm like I'm the I'm the guild deputy in this in this and uh yeah I I kind of do the GBG for that. So like you know seventy five you know I get like what. It's anywhere from like three to eight k, depending on the island. But mm -hmm. you know, I spend a lot more time, money, and effort into building the the GVG build, and also like uh, doing the the bombs and stuff. So like, hold up. So here in my inventory, I have like the special bombs. Like I crafted all these splendid clay grenades from Medea. <laughs> um, I crafted all these uh, splendid sacred charms as well, specifically for GVG. So and these uh splendid protective potions. So yeah, it's a it's a real thing. But anyway, um Yeah, I mean but pretty much everybody who do you, would you say that pretty much everybody who takes GBG seriously has like a very strong GBG build like you do? No. <laughs> Some people have like <laughs> four by threes and stuff. It's kinda hard. Honestly, building a kitted out GBG build is way harder than like five by three in your your character for PvP or PvE. Mm -hmm. Because people don't hunt the accessories. So like look at like all this way I guess look at this way, like I have like maxed out endurance right here. I even have the pet mm -hmm. which is not on, but um, the the hardest part like is like finding these pieces because nobody saves these pieces. No one saves endurance or whatever. Um, and also because of how rare these uh these pieces are, then and the stones are even rarer too. The idea is you you kind of buy like all these accessories first and then you cut the stone. So like I can show you, um, like this is like uh this this inventory. Some of this is like for PvP or uh, for raiding and stuff. But like mm -hmm. a lot of these accessories are just for uh, uh, GVG. And like I spent, I bought like all these like some of these accessories, like this one, and I, I'm not even using it. But I bought it because it was on the market, and I ended up. Uh, yeah. Yo, gas. Uh, thanks for the follow. Buying all these accessories it. and then cutting the stone. I finally cut the stone and then I match it together. And I have like all these level ten. That's all. I, these are these are from African. My, sorry, this is from my rating build. But yeah. Uh huh. So you so, have a lot of stuff that went into building your GVG setup. Yeah, it took me like three weeks, a month, to to find and build it. But I'm pretty happy where it is. Like, it's pretty hard to kill me. And I'm just kind of a nuisance. <laughs> Do people I, complain about you? Like, oh, why, why does this guy spend so much time and effort on his GVG build? <laughs> um, you know, like uh, on our our server, uh, I remember one time. So, like for uh, Medea, hmm, I can't really see it huh, from here. Let me see. Siege status, yeah. So, uh, th this guild, like, um, mm -hmm. you know, they're kind of like, well, they're definitely the better guild. Let's not get that twisted, but um. It was like a soft rivalry, and like um, you know, we'd have somebody that would go between back and forth between the mm -hmm. um our guilds during our when we're doing GVG, and then he mentioned like you know, uh, like I was just not really killable. Well, but those people were also playing on their alts, but yeah, like 
on the island we we prioritize like you know i would get the objective and i just couldn't be killed <laughs> and then they would make comment of that i mean when we finally challenged like their mains though they definitely killed me quite easily with their mm. good strat. but yeah it's all in the name of uh trying to kind of trying to it's crush like... people in gvg I mean, it's just whales like throwing trucks at each other. Like, <laughs> would you, know, would you say people it. in GVG in general, a lot of them are whales? Yeah, uh, these pe- like at the high end, like the S and I don't know about the A tier islands, but uh, in the S tier islands, like the people who own these islands, these people are very rich, mm-hmm. or at least they have a lot of stuff in the game. And Got it. Yeah, I might be like a a, a normal fish in in those ponds. Who knows? Damn. I mean, this also make a lot of money. Like tier one island, like you're getting what 10k gold a, a week. So you know, back remember 10k gold back in the days yeah. of Yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, it was. Um, well, I think one of the questions I was asked is like, um, straying off of the GVG topic, um, mm-hmm. Esther weapon. Have you ever thought about making an Esther weapon? Have I thought of it? Yes. Have I? Do I plan to in the near future? Probably not. I mean, I've always had goals when I was building my roster, and I would switch characters a lot, and that would just set me back a lot often in terms of how much money I spent. Like, I realistically, I wish I could get all my money back for like all these characters, and then like you know, just push in with Power Pass or something or Express. But uh, I did spend some money on like some of these other characters I don't play in my Golden anymore. But um, mm-hmm. anyway, uh, back to that Esther. Mm, that is quite more expensive than what I'm going for right now. So like, because basically, I feel like Esther weapon to max it out would probably be like the same as like what you spent on this game so far, probably. Oh yeah, if it was a plan, like you know, this game is a lot about uh the future. Like you're playing ahead all the time in this game. So when you're doing raids and stuff, and you want to let's say you know you want to uh, main swap or something, you play a new character. And it's not on a on a uh, express event, right? You need to you know do the ra- do all the raids uh, before we recently got the the Arturus touch or whatever that mm-hmm. doubled the mats. But before you had to do like what three months? Not no, not three months, but like two months of a con straight to to hone up. And then you need to RNG your way through like Voldus now. So there's a lot of like money spent in building characters so don't don't swap characters outside of like a pass this is like advice to everybody but anyway um so i spent a lot of money on that regard if i'd done it from the start maybe i could afford an esther but right now to put it in perspective of how like expensive it is um like so i'm 23 all everything if i want to push to uh 25 everything so 1650 uh and i had let's say i had the bounds too this will probably take out like two mil from this and yeah that's not too much like i could i could like live right but like mm-hmm. if i want to it's not go too for... much yeah, it's petty change i mean it's not too much compared to esther if you're trying to go for esther right now i need like 50 mil right now to start mm. i need 50 50 55 mil or 50 to 60 mil and then i also need to like uh, i don't know do a lot of other stuff it's it's kind of crazy I don't know if if I do work on it, it'll have to be very slow. Like this yeah. game is a lot better when you push with bounds and mm-hmm. slow push everything, and don't rush, don't FOMO and rush to the end game. That's also, how they make it the most. Especially because you know the way that you're getting gold and buying gold is like, like it's not like a lot of people who are G two G right. It's mm-hmm. it's gonna be a lot more expensive for you to buy Esther than like a lot of other people buying it. Oh yeah, there's definitely people. Yo, who Zed, are thanks for Paul about it, and I'm sure. I mean, that's not fair, but like, I wouldn't, I, you know, I don't want to say like every Esther I see is like, you know, um, bought in some form or fashion that's not like 100% legit. I'm sure somebody has worked on it, but like, you know, it'd be hard to do it legitimately in this game. 100%. Uh, yeah, so something to keep in mind. And um, I guess kind of like on a, on like a separate topic um you know how do, do you have a nine seven stone on your um gl right now no i don't i do have nine seven equivalent stones but they are not on characters i play so you how many nine seven stones do you have uh that's a good question let me see i have one on my destroyer uh i have one uh, on you my... dropped that yeah i dropped my destroyer 
I have one on my Soul Eater. I don't. But I, you drop I that, that character. Yeah. You don't play on it. Um, I could artist? have sworn I had another one. Oh yeah, an artist. I, I do play artist uh, every week. Um, it's pretty cool. I have the unique mm-hmm. build for that. Thanks to it, I can actually go uh, level two. Was it level two heavy armor and level two spirit absorption? So I can kind of go through. Did you um? Did did you spend a lot of money on your stones? <laughs> I don't chase stones. Like so, um, you know, if something is within reason, I I will chase it. So you know, gems are within reason. Uh, it's like you can see it kind of like an end to it. There's like a pity or like a, you know, you, there's a calculated amount. Like this is how much it's going to cost me for yeah, you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, if elixirs are are within reason, but I feel like um, what do I call it? Like uh. Bracelets are not within reason, like, and bracelets and stones. So whenever I cut like a nine seven stone, I just got lucky. Mm-hmm. So yeah. while you do like you know in in many for many people, the amount of money that you're able to, to spend to spend a lot of times can seem like endless or limitless. But for you, the way that you spend gold uh, money in this game, you don't spend it like as though you had a you know a limitless um you know pocket or wallet or whatever you kind of like calculate and think about like what's the most worth it to spend it on and like how will i get the most back for what i'm spending right yeah so that's a that's definitely an interesting topic so um i try to be smart about as smart as one can be in spending money on a video game that won't be here for in five years but like um i do (laughs) try to yeah i do try to uh spend like you know like ride the wave so to say you know there's like maybe times in the market where it's advantageous to like spend on let's say royal crystals or conversion right so like right now we're kind of like in the slump because of uh so these are prices on the nas obviously which are higher than any east um but you, this used to go up to like beyond 4k like mm-hmm. you know 4.1 and those would be the times to go for it right now it's kind of sp- like smoge because of frog frog mm-hmm. as well as the the boxes you get at the end of the legion raids um and because of that you know price of radiance are quite quite down so, so there are, do like, you like frog do you like it when frog comes around uh this event shop right this uh this frog. yeah 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 do you... <laughs> Yeah, um, in, in in a way it kind of makes it so that you don't get as much gold for like the money that you spend right a lot of gold goes into this this guy um and it's definitely worth it um i finished klc off because mm-hmm. of frog and i also finished oh, nice. uh, in fact you know that's also another flex uh aside from like this this is my only all 10 gemmed uh character damn it's not, it's not even my main like i ch- so like to piggyback onto your topic about being like uh thinking about like uh spending in this game so you know i hone up i get a nine and then i go on a character that has like uh non tens and then i try to fuse up to that specific one mm-hmm. and then like oh, and then i would uh i would <laughs> you get a little ocd there yeah i would uh then fuse up to a 10 and then that way i would save me silver on re-rolling for for that and yeah i save a lot of silver now but um and if it's honestly if the gems on the market i'd rather buy it than re-roll it at, at mm-hmm. level 10 level so that's why I don't have like ten on my gun lancer, and I have ten on my word answer because I just happened to get lucky and finish that there. But I was gonna show you my perk collection. Yeah, let's take a look. <laughs> what what are your bonuses looking like? Oh, my bonuses. Um, oh, they're on, on the right. right they're side. on the right. Yeah, yeah. So you have is so six point three. Is that max? Uh, for a human. Yeah. Let's take a look. Like, what are the ma- are, are you at max for all of them? So a that looks human maxed out. Demon. Yep. I'm also max for demon. Demon's also max, and you yeah. got human for Kaya, I guess, right? Yeah. Let me see. I think undead's max. Yeah, undead's, undead's max, max, and that's a con. Uh, beast might be max too. Beast, yeah, is, beast max. is max. Okay. I <laughs> uh, got it. What about uh, like plants? Because that's no. gate one. That's gate one. Pull this. Uh, I need to. <laughs> this is kind of sad. Uh, to explain to people, but I need to hunt Pletcha. So these are like the Pletcha <laughs> cards. Uh-huh. Uh, that's the only one I'm missing. So I do need to hunt the Pletcha for for it to max out. But I'm done with everything else, I swear. 
<laughs> I swear. <laughs> got it. So you you got a lot of cards. But honestly, I would say that your card RNG is really, really good too. Like, I, I mean, you play, you always say this, you play like cards in real life, right? You play, uh, what are you playing Vanguard still? Uh, no, like that was kind of like, you know, the, the money choice of like, do I want to go and go on it? Yeah. Do I want to go all in on this game or not? So, I mean, so you don't really play cards why. as much anymore. I don't really play cards as much, but you know, I'm very big fan of cards. I used to play Vanguard. I tried getting into Shadowverse, um, like your other friend. Um, mm -hmm. but right now, it's kind of like uh, I'm I'm a little disillusioned when it comes to TCGs right now. But yeah, got uh, it, got my it. luck with card games is you're right. I have quite luck with cards, just cards specifically, not like other aspects of RNG. Got it. I, to, to, to give you, I'm going to tell the story. Okay. So okay, go for we it. were at we were doing. Um, challenge abyss one time and a selector popped up and he, i think i think that's the story right the selector popped up and you didn't buy it for like however much it was going for it was going to go for like 60 70 80 90k and this was like very early on and it was i think your last card before los right and you were mm. like you're like, I don't think it's worth it to spend that much on it. I'm like, what? What do you mean it's not worth it? You literally get it there. It's like, I'd rather just buy a card pack and pull it. Like, I, I mean, I'm I'm really lucky with cards, so I'm just going to do that. And then you went and got a card pack and you pulled the last LOS card. Uh, that's pretty close to the, the story. I think we were talking about a hypothetical. Oh, yeah, like, it, was it a didn't hypothetical. actually happen. Okay, okay. It didn't happen yet. And my stance at the, at the time was like, I don't want to spend 90K. I could have spent 90K on it. I didn't want to spend 90K because as you know as is is you know i mean you consider me as like a rational person and usually mm -hmm. i am but it was kind of unrational irrational uh, and i agree with that stance like you know but my idea was like i could rng it out of uh like you know the packs and eventually i got like a selector or something no actually no i got that one you got out of a pack you got you got the yeah. last card out of a pack yeah i remember that yeah. clearly i got that out of a pack and then but i would have had like a selector if i did not get it through that but uh, yeah, I did get lucky on that. And the, the situation did not come up, like at least for <laughs> LOS. Yeah, you didn't have to like, buy a selector and like be forced to make that choice. Yeah. Um, got it. Well, actually, another question is, um, do you like you spend a lot of money on the game, you know, to get gold and things like that? You got a lot of gold right now. Do you still bust to like make gold? Like, do you like because like in many cases i feel like a lot of people who bust don't wail on the game or like don't rmt because like that's their way of making gold passively and like that's how they get so much gold to push their characters so they don't have to wail do you still bust uh yeah so you know i've bought buses in the past i mean still do uh well not really but like i, I did for the breaker because i didn't want to play breaker or like, even though it's do really you strong. do yourself but, like, bus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I've also sold buses in the past. Um, I mean, it's a lot of work, honestly. If you, if somebody wants to like actually make good money in the game, like the ways of doing it are so limited. You either spend money, or you like you know, you bus, or you do like shady stuff, <laughs> <laughs> like you know. So I, you know, I have the means for the money, but like, let's say if I was free to play and I played this game all day, I would, I would be bussing, and it's, it's like the raids aren't necessarily like hard to the point where it's frustrating to bus. It's usually just like dealing with the customers, but like, it, if you want to do the math on it, like, you know, I know people who afforded their like all their level ten gems before I get a chance to finish my level tens mm -hmm. just from bussing, and it's a good way to make money, but like. I don't know. Like, I'm kind of conflicted on it on the on the subject of busing. I think it's um, you know, it's viable. It's a good strat, you know, kind of to help yourself. But at the same time, you know, you're not helping other people who you know rely on busing. Like, they're not learning how to play the game. Um, you're leading to like kind of like inflation, so to say. Like, you know, people like you're pushing people to play the game in a certain way. Whereas, you know, like, I think a lot of the fun in the game is, like, playing with other people and, like, kind of, like, you know, they mess up, they die or something, and then, you know, you have, like, a good pool. Like, that's that's part of the fun. But, like, people kind of, like, treat it, they kind of go too far on that aspect, and they're like, you know, I'm carrying these people anyway, I might as well carry them for money. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm conflicted on the subject of busing, but if, you know, if somebody wants to know how to, like, progress their account in a realistic way than just running their six characters on gold and selling their mats and like 
slow pushing each other character without spending money. Yeah, Blessing's the way. I highly got recommend it. it. Got it, got it. Cool. Well, let's go through your characters, because we've gone through your Gun Lancer, we've gone through your War Dancer. What does your uh, Death Blade look like? I think Death Blade is like the most ethical, I think, out of my my uh, my Gold Earners. Um, it's also my most difficult class to play. Like, I think I need to work on that. But um, it's definitely also one I like the most, or one of the most. Mm -hmm. uh so yeah common theme with my gold earners i don't know if i mentioned this but like they're all like synergy uh, related so you know i have a gun lancer war dancer arrow glaive okay paladin's like you know just i mean it's a generic support, support. So... it's a support yeah <clears throat> playing a support i think is just part of being ethical in the game like you know imagine how many raids you do and somebody's playing a support and then you know if for people who play like all dps rosters you're not you're like kind of taking but you're not giving back so that's just my area of giving back. But like here, you know, I have the level 10 search gem and then Maelstrom, but like all these are nines. Very uh, ethical, very ethical. Yeah. I do want to make an RE for this. So uh -huh. I used to play RE. Um, I don't play it now, but uh, there's some fights or like if you progress far enough, like Surge, Surge kind of still has the same issues. They're like a lot less of an issue, but they're still kind of the same issues. And like if you push very hard, it's kind of hard to like, you know, build stacks, drop surge or whatever. So there's a times where I would want RE, but I don't have the gems for that. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm going to just like trying to max out tens on. I don't really need to get tens on these, but I guess for OCD reasons, I will eventually. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Wait, this is. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, you go. Uh, ah, yeah, this is very ethical. And yeah, I have 40, 40 master on this. Mm -hmm. I wish. <laughs> But you can feel like you never get enough crit for for surge. No, oh, 100. I, I was gonna say that. Uh, uh, somebody asked in chat, like, how many raids do you do a week? Uh, nowadays, I just do like my six gold earners. I finish all 18. But in the past, I was doing way more than 18. I was doing like 27, maybe even the 30 range. It was Damn. crazy. I. Yeah, I scaled back on this game quite a bit because, like, I don't know. That was, like, the point where I was, like, you know how the means to mu for bus? That's when I, like, start would start buying if I need it. If I need to push a character to a certain eye level. I mean, I can definitely do the raid, but it's a, the time as well as, like, you know, getting jailed and you're just, like, I got to get all this homework done. So, yeah, I I, I strictly I don't strictly do 18. I, do, I think I do a little bit more because for my static some of the characters i have gold go nerders don't fit in so i have to play some of these other characters down here for that like like my artist uh, one of my statics i do i do my artist as a support cuz i saved my paladin for our group but yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah for our uh, voldus our hard voldus mm -hmm. that's right um what about your uh, let's move on to the next character yeah sure so DB, like, you know, kind of history of it. Gun Lancer, I never dropped. War Dancer is the class I picked up uh, when I dropped Scrapper, which mm -hmm. is, and then I power pass or express the Scrapper last last event. Uh, Death Blade was the class I picked up and then dropped. And then I eventually picked up after the rework. Um, Arrow is kind of new. It's it's a crit send, you know, the main reason why I play it. But it's also it's also very fun. It's very simple. You know, it's very easy to wrap your head around kind of kind of play style. Um, and I picked it up after the recent buff to its damage. Uh, you know, it, it was like it got released and then it kind of got like nerfed, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it got and nerfed it before it got released here, I think. That's right. And uh, so it felt very underwhelming to play, especially like you think about Arrow, and then you compare it to, like, War Dancer. It's like, War Dancer mm -hmm. does so much damage, and it's like a crit send, and it's you give basically it, like, a the same. Speed. It's basically the same thing in terms of, like, the synergies it gives. Right. So, um, yeah. So, it's kind of a... So, Arrow's kind of a recent addition, wow. but I really you like you also it. have pretty much all 10s, except for those two cooldowns. Yeah. I mean, they, they don't really matter. Like, your cooldowns on Arrow are very short. Like, everything is, like, two seconds. Like, you need your counter, your spread, and rage to come up because they give you the shield that you spend on these. I'm playing a, a Wind Fairy. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty much done. I also have a 30 set on this. Mm. 30 set critical. 
Nice. nice. Oh, 40 Not set, 40, sorry, 40. 40 set, 40 set. Sorry, 40 set. Sorry, 40 set. Yeah, 40 set critical. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I could always cut better ones, but it's kind of like cutting looks is expensive. Yeah, it's easily expensive. expensive. I mean, uh, you're saying expensive, but you can, I mean, again, you got a lot of gold. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of ability stones too. Like, so, look at. Uh, where is oh, it? your your yeah. your your chaos stones and your ductility cast. You got a ton of those. Yeah. Oh yeah, chaos stone. Yes. Yeah. But you're still like trying to be like ethical and like you know, um, in many ways you could say like frugal with your gold. Yeah, I think like so. These are some of the ones I went off bid. You know, I'm down to cut these, but I'm not gonna like stress about getting a better. Oh man, you know, I want a better glove, but it's just like hard to get that. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of at the mercy of it. And honestly, it's not it's not bad. It could be better. Like this isn't boss damage. Or mm -hmm. yeah, boss damage, but I don't know. What can you do? I mean, maybe they'll nerf the system in the near future. I remember they brought that up in the live stream like the last night. Yeah. So they did. we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's my arrow. I'm on all my characters like anime characters. I'm sure you I don't know if you know this. Uh, like anime characters like what do you mean <laughs> i don't know what do you think this is oh like 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 cosplays and stuff like that <laughs> yeah like every, everything's a cosplay kind of mm. so you know people can have fun kind of guessing that yeah someone chattery got it that's anyway. rem yeah got it got it what about uh your glavier oh glaive this is the like the most the latest edition um oh really I, yeah, in terms of gold earners, I really wanted to to play it, but I felt like, oh man, maybe it's like too strong or something. And so after like, you know, the recent nerf or the nerf before that, it's like, okay, I, I feel safe. I feel ready to to build Glaive. And I didn't really know what to expect when I played it, um, but I definitely like it. Uh, it's kind of clunky, like, you know, if you mess up. But when you have the rotation going down and you're, you know, swapping accurately, you're, it's pretty smooth and it's kind of busted, especially with the sin. So, this probably has like the worst gems, but these are like the Half Moon Slash and Raging Dragon Slash, which are like, who cares? So, mm. so they're not really like your them. main damage dealers. Yeah, they're not. Anyways. And, and they also, the, up... the cooldowns aren't that bad for them either. That's true. Yeah. Like, for the most part, you know, I like I would want Forehead Dragon and Thrust of Destruction, but those skills aren't the important ones. It's a, uh, or, yeah, it's RDH and a uh, Starfall Pounce, which I have mm -hmm. tens for. So this one, the gems could be better, but I mean, I'm like, it's Dubla level of gems. I think he has sevens also on these skills. It's Dubla level of gems, but he yeah. do not have it's Dubla level of a uh, weapon on this character. No, I think I have purples on everything at minimum. Oh, I'm talking about just like the plus 25. Oh, yeah, I don't have 25 weapons. Sorry, but I mean, quality on like all my characters is purple, if not mm -hmm. yellow. Actually, do you have any 25 weapons? No. Every uh, single year, your character is pretty much is like evenly upgraded, right? Yeah, there's a lot of people that push for a weapon, and you know it does add to your damage. But I spent a lot of time catching up characters, so I haven't had a chance to like use my main, like my main for the longest time. Oh just yeah, it's like... not that that character's not juiced at all. No, no, no. Sixteen forty, casual. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had a chance until recently to kind of juice it. And mm -hmm. I mean, slow playing everything is honestly the way. If you could just like get bounds, like I have a lot of bounds on some of these characters. This is kind of a newer one, so I don't have as many. But like, and my main, I just pushed the 1640. But like, uh, I'll see my paladin. So I can switch to that if we're good with the with my glaive. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, when you switch to your paladin, can you go to your wallpaper. Actually, your your, your character select screen. I think uh, TQ wants to see your uh, character select yeah. screens. I have quite a bit of uh, wallpapers. So I have Garden of Rest as my main one, but I I'm roster level three hundred. Uh and so you know. Let's see here. What am I missing? I'm missing Omnium Star and the Masterpiece one. But mm -hmm. every other wallpaper I have. So wallpapers I do go go like splurge on. I do like these wallpapers. I want to collect them. Yeah. Um I think Garden of Rest was a flex for the longest time. That was like getting all the Aeneas to uh, tokens. But mm -hmm. there's a roster 300 one. I'm trying to find. That's the new flex. 
I can never find it, but yeah, I have. I, I don't have roster three hundred, so I have no clue which one that is. <laughs> I, I have it. I, don't, I just don't know which one it is. Should be a new swiper wallpaper. Wallpapers are big. I don't know. They're like oh, this one, the ruined castle. Mm. Roster three hundred. Damn, but you don't use it. I don't use it. No, I'm using it now. Let me swap this one. It's only my scrub. Ugh. This is the default wallpaper. What are you Amp doing, man? You yeah, got all these wallpaper and you're going to default wallpaper this page? Yeah, I don't really care about these characters. They can get deleted for all I care. Yeah, I mean, I don't spend a lot of time, honestly, on wallpaper screen or character select screen, but wallpapers are nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Awesome. Um, let's move on to your paladin, your last character in your yeah. main six. Uh, what was I saying about Paladin? Kind of forgot. Um, not entirely sure. I don't quite remember either. But I'm um, about it. Do you, so do you, you play? I mean, I remember you used to play like a ton of supports. What kind of happened there? Oh yeah. I mean, honestly, if you know, suggestion to people who don't have like as a kid at roster as I do, but like. If you want like characters to do late game content, supports are definitely the way. Um, if I was a more budget character, I would be playing my my two other supports here and my gold earners. Mm -hmm. uh, I just have the means to push kind of like DPS. I mean, I don't know. Supports are, yeah, you get into raids easier, but they at the same time you're also at the mercy of the people doing the raids, like to do damage. Uh huh. Uh, to clear the raid for you and you can get jailed on the support and you can't really like carry your way out of a uh, a jail with the support like as easy like you can't really carry your way out with just a dps either but you have a better chance i feel of carrying yourself out you at least feel like you have more of like uh you know i don't know like an active ability to be able to do more it's like oh if i do more damage you know maybe we'll push this mechanic faster maybe we'll mm -hmm. push the dps faster here and there to make it easier but as a support like kind of you know if your dps just suck it doesn't matter how well you play like multiplying multiplying five times zero is still zero yeah true so i mean <laughs> uh yeah that's exactly it so you know i kind of feel like oh man you know i can afford like easily afford like a full dps roster but i still keep the support because it's my favorite one to play um yeah but i mean you still play like your artist right you know it's still like a support oh, yeah. that you play regularly so if it's I not push... like you're... yeah go ahead so it's not like you're just like not playing you're only playing your paladin as your support you're playing some more other supports too yeah i have my supports here kind of to to fill in and you know play support when needed um and I feel like if I pushed up my artist, it would be in a better spot than my Paladin. I mean, mm. yeah. I mean, you have a 9-7 on there, too. Yeah, I do. So, you know, I mean, ultimately, I want to push, like, these characters with bounds and take advantage of the 1630 Chaos Dungeon when that comes out. And as well as the 1630 uh, uh, Bat Guardian Raid. Uh -huh. So, you know, nobody gatekeeps, like, supports or better or worse. And so I just have like level sevens on these and I can get into those guardian raids pretty easily. Uh huh. So there's there's an incentive to invest in other characters for a guardian raid, but yeah. Do you um, plan to push your main six to uh to to th hard theamine like when it comes out or are you okay with your gunlancer being the only 1630 plus right now? So you know, I kind of learned from uh uh, a con uh and i think the strategy for a con like what i should have done for a con is definitely what i'm doing right now for a day mine so i have like one hard mode character i'm gonna do day one well hopefully do day one i think we're still kind of like looking for that uh group um but when we kind of nail that down you know i want to do hard day mine week one with my gun lancer and then uh -huh. learn the raid kind of on my normal characters so they're just 1620 now oh i, I think was it this? Sorry. I, I think I just remember why I was talking about this. Like, Paladin is one of my longest characters. I think I used the original North Fern pass on it. Uh huh. And let's see here. Like, look at like these mats. Like, well, okay, oh, yeah. that's not that crazy. But like, 
these are just bounded radiance from playing all the time on this. Um, yep. Doing my raids every week, and I then, mean, the like, fact I have that you're sixteen twenty with that many radiance bound is really impressive. Yeah. So if you like long play a character like from the start and you don't like swap, you can definitely make it to higher end content. Like I probably spent this is one of the characters I spent the least on this and my word answer and gun answer because I just kept them on my roster for so long. But anyway, um. Yeah, so back to what we're talking about for Daymine. So I plan to do normal on these characters, other five gold earners. And then when I'm comfortable doing normal, or at least when I max out the transcendence, I'm going to hone them to 1630 and then like do hard mode on them. And hopefully do like J4 on all these characters. It's kind of <laughs> like Brel. Uh, I don't know if... I think I did it one, one or two weeks, but I did Brel 1 to 6 on all my gold earners like one or two weeks before and that was just insane but uh i feel like that's like kind of like what daima is going to be be the the new the new brawl with its uh gate four i'm sure that'll be fun but yeah that's the ultimate goal like i'm gonna do armor only on this and then normal on these and then when i learn the raid and get good at it i'm gonna push them up and do hard mode on all of them as well as gate four got it got it but no so you're not gonna push them all for week one not week one. I mean, I can, but I'm I'm not gonna be able to do it. Like the problem was, I had like six of these, I think. Like all like all my six gold earners could do hard mode, mm -hmm. a con, but there weren't parties for it. Yeah. Like, and I was also still learning the raid, so it's better to just kind of sandbag and like like this game is about like not fomoing and like thinking smart, kind of <laughs> what you want to do. And you know, have I known what I know now? This roster will be way more optimized and like more ethical and I probably would save a lot more money. Do you so, have any spending regrets in this game? Spending regrets. Hmm. I mean, any character I'm not like making gold on is kind of like a regret. Well, not really. Like I do play these characters and I do the guardian raids and the low paying or the unas and the chaos dungeons. And I don't know if I necessarily got my money back, but uh, I'm sure a lot of them help me push a lot. It's it's kind of like that uh, evolved mentality kind of thing that I was trying to teach. It's like the idea is like you know you're not thinking about the money you get back immediately from from these characters. It's kind of like you push them to this level to do the chaos dungeon to get the mats to do the guardian to get the mats, and then they help you push other characters very very far. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not necessarily a waste, but it's like I'm not doing like the legion raids on all these characters. So it's a waste in that regard. But I mean, you know, I have my fun. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's like, it's it's kind of hard to justify, especially like any kind of money you spend on the game. Yeah. You're doing it for the fun. For sure. So, yeah. And um, one question is, uh, you know, do you have any plans for your gold on your character right now? Or is that just kind of like there as a safety net in case anything happens? Yeah. So um, for the longest time, up until like maybe... Hmm, a con? No, oh, maybe maybe like Voldis range. Uh, the idea was that there are going to be times in the game where you need money, and you need to to do stuff with the money, and then you just don't have it. So a lot of like our friends, you know, from time they might not have it, and then that's why they're like, you know, I'm not I'm not saying I hoard this for them. I'm just saying like <laughs> I hoard this so I don't have that same problem in the future. Like, I you know, see. Future. I see. So like an accessory goes on sale or something. I really want this accessory. And I don't want to wait three days for the gold. So it's it's just this hoarding mentality I have, kind of. You know, if I want to do stuff with my gold, I want to do it with the bound ones. Like, I hope I get, like, a Fade Ember that gives me, like, the 20k gold or something or whatever, 50k. And I can use that instead of using the gold that I can trade with. So it's just, like, a... That's why I kind of hoard. But, like, as of, you know, recent, there's not necessarily anything on the market that you can really buy. Like, I mean, yeah, I can improve my accessories. The the relic, I mean, it's kind of hard to improve on a on a class engraving accessory. But yeah, yeah. I, can, I can improve, you know, my relics to ancients, but it's not like a big deal. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, at the end that, of the day, you're pretty, like, smart and, like, you know, calculated about how you spend your gold. You don't just kind of throw it around willy-nilly. Yeah, and so a big thing with why I hoard is when I do make the actual push. So... I don't want to be thinking about swiping when I'm pushing my gun lancer to 1650 or whatever, 1620 to 1630 or something. I want to just be ready like then and there. So, you know, and it's 
this game is a lot of like mind games with like how you manage your resources and finance and people FOMO people cave I mean I cave too but like <laughs> yeah I try I try my best not to not to FOMO and so that's okay. why that's here this is like a culmination of like ye- like over a year worth of saving and damn slowly spending so to say mm-hmm and uh, I guess, I think you asked answered this earlier, but I think uh, maybe uh, Zim Chi has just came in here. But your daily routine, do you? I know you do rested chaoses, but you don't rest your guardians. And do you rest your uh, unas? Well, I mean, honestly, I've rested everything since like back in Vulton days. But uh, the idea is, um, hmm, over the course of a week. So like, so today I did all my unas. Uh-huh. Uh huh. On all my characters, I do owners on every character, even these fourteen ninety losers. Like mm-hmm. you can see that this. I don't know if you can see this is grayed out, but this is grayed out. But my fourteen nineties, I also do the chaos dungeon today. Yeah. Um, I never touched a guardian raid because I mean I have legendary gear and I can't do Duskaluda. I don't want to do Duskaluda or whatever. Yep. I don't know what this is. Kungi, Kungi level. Oh, uh, 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 no, that's Carl. That's Carl. Carl. Oh my god, Carl. definitely don't want to do Carl. <laughs> I would get get kept out of that. I don't think anyone's doing it. So anyway, um, but like uh, tomorrow would be my Chaos Dungeon because I'm resting Chaos Dungeon today. So I would do mm-hmm. Chaos Dungeon on all my, not not these characters, but all my 1600s and up. And yep. then the day after I would do my Guardian Raids. So I rest everything because I was burning out just doing everything every day. Like, yeah. But I do play on like all my characters at some level. Like I actually uh-huh. do my good chaos dungeons on this. I don't have betrayal or anything. I just go in and get the silver. But that's why I have two hundred and twenty six mil silver. This wasn't from swiping. This is from Una's low pangs and chaos dungeons. So Damn. It's a it's that's a long crazy. grind. Yeah. I mean I don't know. I, I do take breaks throughout the day. So like most of the day throughout the day I'm doing like my dailies. Whether whatever it is that we that day. Like it's Una's or Chaos or Guardian Raid. And then at night that's when I do the raids. It helps to have statics, but also I think it also helps to just pug from time to time. So you don't like, you know don't get in the habit of just relying on playing with the same people over and over again, uh-huh. getting accustomed to how they play, kind of see like how other people play. And also, like a lot of times, your stacks are very efficient, so it's like you kind of like you know, exp- you, 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 there's times where you want to go through the struggle a little bit to kind of remind yourself how, how it is, and like you know, be okay to that in, in case one of these days you need a pug or something like that. Yeah, very true. I think it's just having a good balance. Like I wouldn't say pug everything. I mean, you could, but like, I think some of the fun is just uh, the camaraderie or just uh, like the banter you have with somebody else in, in call. As whereas, you know, I also wouldn't say you should pre-make all your, your raids either. That's mm-hmm. you're, you're you're missing out kind of the experience of like, you know, how a lot of people play and learning stuff like, you know, I don't think we we developed like the Balthor attack in Brawl. Like that was something, you know, people saw in a pug. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so that's 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 what I do. And that's what I generally recommend also, like, don't don't uh-huh. pug everything, but don't static everything mm-hmm. or pre-make everything. Also, do you have uh do you have legend who do you have legendary outfits on? That's that's an area I do want to work on, but I don't want the current legendary outfits. Like Paladin's pretty good, but so I don't have legendaries on anybody, but that's because really? I'm waiting for the next season's legendary skins. That like that stuff is uh looks way better. Like for most of the classes I play. So I want to get those, but it's kind of stupid also. Because I would get it and I'd probably just put my existing drip on top of it anyway. <laughs> like, I mean it's yeah it's something you should be doing for your gold earners and i also want to make sure you do it on gold earners you keep like i don't want to do it on like my destroyer which i don't really play although i'm trying to bring that back in for gvg oh but, yeah it's kind of tough do you invest in anything invest what do you like, mean yeah, like, like fish stocks? and like you know oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not stocks like not <laughs> i'm not trying to give financial advice right now i'm done done lost ark lost ark yeah, yeah yeah um hmm that's a good question. I do have like quite a bit of rares. But you don't see. like buy stuff and sell. Like, you don't play the market or anything like that, right? Those no, are... but that is honestly one of the ways to make money. Like, I mean, if that's the kind of game, like, I don't know. I feel like you're not playing Lost Ark at that point. You're playing a different game. But if you want to like, you know, uh, take advantage and just like not stress out on finances, 
figuring out like kind of like what to buy is very helpful. So like uh, for stronghold stuff, um, I definitely uh, get mats like for life skilling or buying. And then, I mean, fish is kind of like you know, if we knew in the past, we would have done it. Like everyone, would've, like mm-hmm. you didn't know how crazy it would have been. Um, one of my most recent uh, investments was uh, trying to take advantage of the. The Thanks awakening shards. Him. So, they kind of dropped it on us last minute. Uh, they, they were going to get rid of awakening shards, and everything would just be uh, free. Free, yeah. But they dropped it last minute. So the idea was, hey, are we going to get our silver back for this? So that the day before, I started like buying out like all these uh, awakening shards, or like before the patch went live the next day. And then, unfortunately, like I failed on that. But like. Yeah, because no, they never didn't know. give like a the, uh, the same the, conversion. Yeah, 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 the same conversion. They didn't. It wasn't like, like you spent... sold it in the shop. They didn't give you back how much you would sell it in the shop, or you, how much yeah. you bought it for. They didn't give you back how much silver it would have cost to buy it yeah. with silver. Like they just gave you some reduced rate. But like, had they given you that much, I would have way more silver than what I have now. And you know, I well, I don't have to worry about silver cost for a while. But that's. That would be one aspect. So I don't know. I Can guess. Keep... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go. I was gonna say just, just like keep keep up to date with Korea trends, and you never know when your next fish in- investment will be. I mean, I'm not super invested in that, but at the same time, I'm always like, there's something running in the back of my mind, and like other people cook on on call and stuff, and I just keep my ear to the ground for that. Yeah, that's all. It- and I know it's almost bedtime for you. So, um, last question: <laughs> um, Do you do uh, do you keep track of your monthly? I mean, not your monthly, your, your weekly income for like your gold earners and like how much gold you're making every week? Mm. Uh, at this point, I don't. But if you honestly want to like push for certain goals, like this game is all about, you know, prioritizing what you want to do. Let's say you want to push your, you want to tap your weapon. You need to like forego other expenditures on your other characters like you can't be exactly cutting elixirs on your alt right then and there so i mean like i don't like you know look at my income at the end of the week and be like okay i made 180k uh gold from doing my raids like that's where i think it is and then hmm, i spend accordingly like uh, throughout the the week so like you know i look at like a uh, whether the chess is worth it every week. And, like, you know, right now, I think it's just a con that's kind of worth it. It's not even kind of worth it anymore. But, like, you know, I would make planned purchases throughout the week and buy then and there. But, like, this is kind of, like, a good week for me. Or, like, the past two weeks, I haven't really been spending money. So my, my stuff's just been going up. Like, my silver, specifically. And, like, kind of my mats. But uh, I'm sure my gold's going up as well, if I don't. I think I bought like two level 10 gems like last week or this week. Mm-hmm. So that kind of took a dip. Um, but yeah. yeah, I mean, again, I think I want to respect all your time because it's almost your bedtime. So pretty much your bedtime. So I'm going to let you go. But thank you so much for kind of taking the time to talk with us and like talk about your roster, your experience and everything. I think it's like very interesting because not... Like, I mean, you're definitely of, like, the 0.01% in this game, I think. Like, you know, at the top in terms of, like, what people are doing in the games, in terms of gameplay time, spending everything. Like, I think you're definitely in the, within, like, the, the very, very tippy top. So I think a lot of people are, like, very interested in, like, the way that you think, the way that you play, what you do, and, you know, the decisions that you make. So thank you so much for, like, spending the time to do this. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah, absolutely. How had a blast. And, uh... And, you know, you never, like, talk about this openly until, like, you know, when asked. And then you, you kind of, like, it's kind of, like, retrospective in that regard. Like, you get to think, like, oh, you know, am I actually making these right decisions? Or is this what you should be doing? I don't know. But, like, yeah, no, it's definitely been interesting on my part as well. That's all I'll say. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Any th- last things that you want to say before we kind of uh, drop off here? Uh, You don't have to say anything. <laughs> Just ask <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, that's, that's those things where it's, like, you know, you're at an interview and they're, like, you have any questions for me and it's like usually yeah like planning for that yeah this is kind of spurred on um not really but i mean like you know i'm free to answer any kind of questions even if people don't think of it right now on the spot like maybe in comments or 
if yeah you i'll be uploading later. this on the onto the youtube channel so you know if anybody wants to leave anything like ask any questions feel free to leave it in the comments of the youtube channel and things like that yeah and then i can go through kind of my thought process and you know i mean i don't have everything figured out there's just so much in this game but like it's been a blast these past two years trying to figure out different things in regards to that and yeah playing the game awesome awesome well thank you again for taking the time of doing this and uh you know i'll see you later i guess <laughs> i'll see you <laughs> elsewhere yeah no yeah no worries uh take care yeah happy birthday all right thank you all right see you see you dude